Uh, diary, um, this is a this is a report of the 50k race. Now I realise it looks like I'm shooting this video f from the bed, and that's because I am shooting the video from the bed because at the end of the race, I was quite tired. I picked up the medal, uh, I took some photographs, and I forgot to do the video. So uh, got to the, got back to our motorhome actually, and um, then had a shower, and then I realised I hadn't shot the video. So now is the video. So how was the race? Well. It was, quote, only a 50k race. Turned out to be 49k or thereabouts. Uh, and um, uh, we both finished it uh, uh, and we were with Tula. And uh, uh, it should have been easy, but it wasn't as easy as we anticipated. And the reason is because, uh, well, personally, I can only speak for myself, is that um, we're obviously not, not in the greatest of health. Um, and I, obviously, as a runner, I've got lots of excuses. So let me give the excuses as well. So I had my Salomon S labs on. And uh, they are very, very close-fitting, uh, ultra-performant um, uh, traveling shoes. And what, in order to achieve their nimbleness, they've sort of removed all the suspension between the bottom of your foot and the base of the shoe. Um, and whilst that seems to work for about the first 25, 30 kilometers after that, um, especially if you're running on tarmac, which we, we turned out to be, um, it was very painful because it, my, my, the base of my feet were just, there was no suspension and it was bang, bang, bang. So I, I think, um, you know, you know, things would have been helped if I'd had different shoes. And if I'd looked, if I'd managed to look at the course map and found out that the, the last half of the race, uh, was, uh, was on tarmac I could have changed it because there was a bag drop and I actually had some softer shoes at the bag drop but I thought oh, I'll just keep my shoes on why not don't want to get my shoes dirty and then that was a terrible terrible mistake so I was kind of like ouch ouch keying my way to the last uh, 10 10 15 k uh what else well uh <clears throat> we're at the uh, at the campsite uh which is where the race started and um and whilst we could have had a share I could have had a share in the motorhome uh, I found out from the lady who runs the place that uh, there's two blocks of there's two shower blocks and the in the female shower block somebody obviously obviously a woman uh, has jammed the um jammed the because the, the showers are paid for with coins and someone's jammed two of the showers and she can't get the coins out so she's put a sticker on uh, very nicely on on those two female showers saying free so I thought well I'm sorry the female showers are much tighter than the men's showers anyway and two of them are free, so I've I've been up for a lovely long, hot, free shower. Uh, I didn't have any shower gel. I forgot to bring shower gel in the motel, but luckily someone's left a nice bottle there. So I had a lovely, warm, free shower with even free shower gel. So that the, the the end of the you know most runners agree that at the end of a race, one of the high points, the first high point is the long shower, and the second high point would be the large meal. <laughs> so so we're. Uh, I've had the first high point, which is the long shower. Well, the, the, the zero point is to finish the race successfully and then claim it was easy. That's obviously the, the thing that most people do. Secondly, you have the shower and then uh, and then we're going to have the meal later on. So it feels booked a lovely restaurant. Uh, I don't know how, how we're going to fare uh, in terms of veganness, in terms of what what we can eat. <clears throat> so we're gonna have to, we'll have to play that by ear when we get there. So we've got about two or three hours now of a bit of a lie down. I think I, I think I am going to have a bit of a lie down. <clears throat> we've got a quite a strong internet reception here, you know, over 30 megabits per second. So we're, I could have a bit of surfing, a bit of a lie down, and then a large dinner. It means, and then we've already done, you know, uh, 50,000 steps today. It's turning out to be an absolute perfect day. Oh, by the way, Wales, uh, for those uh, who are not UK residents, it's quite a wet uh, part of the UK. Mm, uh, and indeed, when we arrived yesterday, it was plunking down with rain. Uh, but today, as as per weather forecast, it was bone dry. There's a lot of dew on on the on the on the uh, on the uh, on the trail uh, up to the, you know up to that thirty k point, which it turned into road. But uh, which which went straight through my super ultra ultra thin race shoes and made my feet wet. But. <clears throat> But yeah, it was uh, it was dry. I mean, it wasn't there was no rain whatsoever. That was a really big plus. 
Okay, Dara, I think I've said enough. Uh, it's time for a bit of a snooze uh, and, a, and a surf. Bye.